everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am participating in a collaboration challenge that is hosted by Secondhand Tracy Ann and it is called Farmhouse Thanksgiving Tablescape. Now I'm in my kitchen because that is the only room in my house that is farmhouse. Well pretty much farmhouse. I like to do more of a French farmhouse theme and uh, got my buffalo check curtains here in the background so I thought I'd put a buffalo check um, tablecloth on my table. Got my turkey here. He looks pretty farmhouse. I have my tray. That's a chalkboard tray and it has a white frame around it that's uh, chipped up. So I think I got uh, pretty much everything here. Got some white plates that uh, were my mother's. They're ironstone and I'm going to be using those. And uh, you know the only thing with the challenge is a tradition. You know um, I really don't remember having a tradition growing up for Thanksgiving, just your basic stuff. The only thing that I do remember is uh, my mom never stuffed a turkey, ever. I do not remember ever having stuffing out of a turkey growing up. She always made what she called dressing. She did her stuffing in a casserole dish in the oven, and she'd always put uh, chopped up celery and onions in it, and she used chicken broth. So I myself has just uh, continued on that tradition when I do my Thanksgiving dinner. And uh, I've never stuffed a turkey either. I think it's just much easier to make it in the oven. And it tastes really good. I mean, everybody likes it that uh, comes over to the house. So that is my tradition. So now we are going to go ahead and get started doing this tablescape. Well, I had a change of plans. I decided I wanted to use my black scroll chargers here. So I went ahead and took the tablecloth off. They just didn't look that good on the tablecloth. So now I have my mother's iron stone plates and they have a little bit of scroll work on them too. So I think that goes great with these plates. Now I'm just doing a real simple black and white tablescape here. Got a little pop of orange over there. I'm just gonna use a salad plate. That's all I'm doing placing salad plates on here. Like I said, really simple tablescape here. Place all these. Here we go. Now for the napkins, I'm going to use some buffalo check. So we'll get some buffalo check back on here. Plus I think too much buffalo check was going on there. So I have just my buffalo check napkins. I got a Pier 1. This is a uh, napkin ring that I've had for a while. It used to be white. I painted it black. I splattered it with some white. And I am just going to set them on top of the place setting. That's all, that's all there is to it. This is a very quick tablescape to throw together for company. And it looks very, very elegant. Now, I gotta find some glasses. I really don't have anything that's more farmhouse, you know, like, let me see what I can find. I don't know if I wanna use, I don't have, yeah, I just, I really don't know what to use. Um, let me go grab the silverware, I'll place that real quick, and I'll see what kind of glasses I can find. All right, what do you think? I think I'm gonna use my glasses that have a honeycomb design. I think these look really pretty with everything. All right, that is my farmhouse Thanksgiving tablescape. I do like this much, much better without the tablecloth. Cause then you can see, and I'll go around my table, you can see I have this really pretty table here and it has the metal with the scroll work on it too. So I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod and I'm gonna go around the table real quick and then we'll come back for a little bit of chit chat at the end.
Well, I hope that everyone enjoyed the video today. I had fun doing this collaboration. And you know what? I really love how this tablescape turned out here. And I am glad that I took that tablecloth off. I think that was just a little bit too much buffalo check going on here, especially since I had the napkins too. And I really wanted to use these scroll chargers because I really love these. And uh, I want to say that if you're new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that red subscribe button down below and make sure that you hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my new videos. And that is going to do it for the video today. So I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.